four horses. <laughs> Never could beat my Pony Express. Four horses couldn't beat one horse anyway. I think he's gonna put me out of business. <laughs> no, sir, not when Billy's riding. of the Pony Express. Can't you talk about something more pleasant? Oh, I wouldn't say that, Higgins. There's no use denying the truth. Well, why can't the Pony Express and the stagecoach combine and work together? Does Billy Carson agree to that? Well, not yet, but I'm sure he will after Sally explains it to him when the stagecoach gets in this afternoon. She's riding with it on the first trip. And you'll never get him perched up on that monkey box. He likes to sit in the saddle too well. How's the road building coming along? Pretty good. We're about ready to start through the Badlands. Oh, then you've gotten your government permission. <laughs> yes, a couple of days ago. You know, this stagecoach line is going to mean a lot to the people out here on the frontier. It certainly will. Well, see you later. your time talking to Farrell. I know all he does and more. Have you had a report from your man in the Capitol? Yes, and all your legal maneuvering hasn't stopped Farrell from getting the rights to run his road through the Badlands. He told me so. And that means three things. All of them bad. What's that? First, the land will be open to the public. Second, the law will move in, break up an organization that we've been years building up. And third, the stagecoach company will be given grants of land along the route that is the most valuable in the territory. Right. That's the land I want, and the land I'm going to have. Maybe we can still get it. There's no maybe about it. We're going to get it. I know of no law that There's I... no law in the Badlands. Nothing but wanted men controlled by us. That's why I feel I can handle it my way. Without showing your hand? Yes. I'm going to let Steve Lacey handle it. And from now on, Farrell is going to run into nothing but trouble.
Where's the stage, Willie? Daddy will tell you, Mr. Farrell. I gotta get this mail through. Can't you find a better place to sit down? Not at present. Why not? Oh, I burnt my britches. Oh, I sat on a hot horseshoe. Uh, that's a kind of a stupid thing to do. You're not half as stupid as you riding in on that stagecoach. What'd you do it for? Well, the stage was being attacked, so I pitched in and helped them out. You'd do the same thing yourself, wouldn't you? No, sir. Let them fight their own battles. You and me had to. Uh, you don't mean that. You know you don't. Of course he doesn't. Do you? <laughs> uh, of course not. <laughs> well, I'd fight anybody, any time, any place for you, Miss Sally, and so would Billy. Well, he's already proven that. <laughs> and I appreciate it, Billy. Lots more than I can say. Yeah, if our place has been reversed, you'd have done the same thing yourself, Mr. Farrell. You know, it ain't often you see rivals help each other out. Rivals? Well, sure. You're both in the same business. I know we're not. The Pony Express handles the mail, and the stage line handles freight and passengers. And eventually the mail. Isn't that so? Well, uh, there's been some talk about it. Why, Dad, you never told me that. Well, you know, it's not definite. But it's going to happen. And when it does, Carson and others like him are going to be out in the cold. That's why I want him to throw in with me. How about it, Billy? Are uh, you dickering for a mail contract, Mr. Farrell? Uh, we've made the government a proposition to carry the mail daily instead of weekly, as you're doing. <laughs> well, why can't I make them the same proposition? Well, of course you can. But it'll take a great number of horses and riders. I got the horses, and I think I can get the riders. If you can't, I can. Well, it's possible. But I don't believe you can make my bid. I can do my best. May the best man win, huh? <laughs> Come on, Fudge. Come on, Zalek. Farrell and Carson both after that mail contract, and they're sitting free. How? If we can get them fighting one another, that stage road will never be built. That's a good idea, but how can it be done? Very simple. I'll have Carson's horses run off. I'll make it look like Farrell did it. I'll see you later, Stone. Right.
Looks like we'd wing one of them. Come on. Yeah. Jed Clark. What a Farrell's man. Can Tom Farrell be back of this raid? That's for Billy to decide. We're heading for town. Shake a leg again, yeah, so grab your partner. <laughs> Hit her, man.
Curly. You can walk sideways and fall. Uh, it'll only be a minute, Sally. All right, Curly. Here's where Carson gets to the bed. It looks that way. Well, I got away with a herd, but we know who's responsible. Are you sure that Jed Clark was the man you found? No doubt about it. It's sure hard to believe that Farrell would pull a thing like that. Yeah, Jed never ran around with a wild bunch. He's a Farrell man. He always struck me as being a square shooter. Curly, go and get Farrell. Tell him I want to talk to him. Could do all he can for him. You haven't answered my question yet. Why should I shoot Farrell? We're running off your horses. That's utter nonsense. Not according to what Billy's man told me. You fired this gun recently. That's right. It's the man who shot Farrell. Can you prove it? Billy didn't shoot me. Take it easy, Tom. Dad, do as Doc says. The man that shot me was out there. Who was he? Do you know? I could only see the flash of his gun. Tom, somebody's trying to get us to fight each other. That's right, son. Well, they won't get away with it. I'll help Sally build the road through the Badlands until you get back on your feet again. Thanks, Billy. Come on, fellas, give me a hand. Come on, boys. Take it. Certainly haven't made any effort to cover the tracks of the horses. Well, it ain't for the lack of opportunity. We've passed through plenty of rocky country. I don't understand it, Fudge. Me neither. Well, I reckon we might as well push on. See if we can pick up any signs of the other riders. I wonder how many men are in on this setup. Well, Slim and Curly said there were seven or eight of them. Looks like some of them cut off here and headed up into the hills. Well, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. We might run right into a trap. Seven men lay an ambush for two is a kind of a waste of gun talent. Well, they might not be within a dozen miles of here, Fuzz. Then we might be covered by guns right now. That ain't so good. No, it isn't. What do we do? Well, we came here to get those horses. What do you think we're going to do? Oh, well, by grab, we'll get them. When you get past those rocks there, get your horse a-running. Just in case.
can't you? That's right where we want them. Turner, you follow me. Red and I'll try to head them off the other end. Tell me, who shot Brown and ran off my horses? I don't know. You don't know? And if you won't talk to me, you'll talk to the judge in Mesa City. You're in the Badlands, mister, and you'll never get out of here alive. We'll see about that. Get on your horse. He's liable to talk. We can get Carson before he gets Turner into town. That's right. Rocky Pass place to ambush him.
Yes, and this is one of the men that ran him off. Why hasn't the stage left, Sally? Well, we've been having a little trouble. I'll take him on down to the sheriff, and then as soon as I get some men to help Fuzzy round up the herd, I'll be back. Come on, Red. What's happened? Carson got his horses back. Turner's dead. And Red's been thrown in jail. We sure got ourselves in a tight spot. Yes, things didn't work out like I figured. Well, I did the best I could. I'm not blaming you any, Steve. We can't let Red go to trial. He'll talk to save his neck. Oh, I'll have him out of jail before that happens. If you can do that, Steve, we'll make it so hot for Carson, he'll wish he never was born. <laughs> well, I'm ready to go to work, Sally. Thanks, Billy, but I'm doubtful if there's anything you can do. Why not? The men refuse to work. They do? Where are they? Not in the wagon yard. By the way, how's your dad? Oh, he's fine, but Doc says it'll be months before he's up and around again. Well, we'll keep things going. You better stand here, Sally. What's holding up the stage from leaving now? What's it to you? Quite a bit. From now till Farrell gets back on the job again, I'm running this outfit. Maybe you're ready to pay our wages. They do today? They've been due for over a month. Well, you'll get them. Now, Al, get this stage a rolling. You men, clean up this mess. Nothing doing until somebody shells out our pay. I said you'd get it. Now, either you men start to work, or I'll get some men in here that will. Nobody else or any other man will turn a wheel until we're paid. You heard what I said. in Billy's favor on the stage line for money he's advancing in the next three months. How much are you advancing? Uh, just enough to keep the work going. Do you want to specify the amount that Carson is giving? No. Billy has to start paying bills today, so I'd appreciate it if you'd arrange the legal end right away. Well, you come in in about an hour. Everything will be ready. Thanks, Mr. Higgins. I'll bring the money in on my next run, Sally. you brought in escape. Steve Lacey hit me over the head and freed Hit you over the head. How long ago? Well, uh, 10 or 15 minutes ago. Uh, probably on the way to the Badlands by now. Well, I'm going after 
Try to catch them before they get there. Listen, I'd like to go with you, Sheriff, but I got a mail run to make. Good luck. Thanks. Come on, Kelly. Stall all you can going up that chattel mortgage to give Steve a chance to get to work. We've got to wreck both the stage line and the Pony Express. Carson's got to be stopped from bringing that money. Don't worry. Steve Lacey will stop him. money you carry. We're on to you, Carson, whenever move you make. Where's the money? Right in those saddlebags. Hand it to me. Okay. Sure. 
Did I get into his room yet? No. I wish I'd have gone with him. Well, we've driven most of that wild bunch back into the Badlands. Yeah, you should have kept them there in the first place, and they wouldn't have gotten away with what they did. Well, I can't do the impossible. Hey, Fred. Get off, Steve. Where'd you pick him up, Billy? Over in Rocky Canyon. Tried to bushwhack me, Sheriff. Hey, you gambled on your luck just once too often, Steve. Maybe and maybe not. Hey, it's a sense we can find out from him who's behind the attacks on the stagecoach and the Pony Express. Uh, start talking. Take it easy, Fuzz. He doesn't have to say anything about that. I know. You know? And you ain't done nothing about it? It doesn't make sense, Billy. When Steve's man held me up, he mentioned money I was bringing in to keep the stage line going. Till Farrell could get back on the job again. Now, only three people besides myself knew about that. Sally, Higgins, and Stone. Well, you can count Sally out. That leaves Higgins and Stone. Isn't that right, Steve? I'll throw him in the who's gal. That won't do any good. Without proof to back up my claim, we'll never get a conviction. Wipe that smile off your mug before I knock it off. Oh, Billy, turn Steve over to me. <laughs> I'll make him talk. I've got a better idea than that. Now, Fuzz, you go over and pick up Stone. Bring him over to the corral and... Sheriff, get around the side window and keep your gun on it. Come on in here, Steve. Take this. Now, you got two guns on you. Do as I told you, understand? I'll get going. What are you doing here, Steve? I told you not to come to this office. Well, I, I couldn't get back into Badlands and I had to get rid of it. You run into trouble? I'll say it did. Now get your hands up, Higgins. Round up all the men you can and follow me. We'll go right in the Badlands if we have to. All right, get your horses, men. We're riding.
Steve have been arrested. Carson's on our heels with a posse. We'll have to fight them off. I'll take care of him. Don't get here pretty soon. That serum won't do us any good. Here it comes out. Have you got that serum? You betcha. Come on, try it. I sure do, but it served its purpose. You know, things change, Sally. We've got to change with them. Do you think that'll ever happen to the Farrell and Carson stage line? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, with new territories opening up and civilization moving westward, well, business is bound to develop. And we'll develop right with it. We'll be the biggest outfit 
west of the Rockies. You're forgetting the railroads. They won't be sitting around. You know, someday, Sally, they're going to have a railroad in every town and hamlet in the country. As soon as you were in your pretty head about that. It's a long time coming. In the meantime, we have a job to do. That's right. Where's Fuzzy? Outside, showing my horse. He should be here any minute. Right, sure. Give me those. <laughs> this is good luck to our new company. 